This is section 841. We're still in polynomials. Last lesson in this chapter, we're going to be factoring by sums and difference of cubes. So first we're going to remind how we factor a difference of squares, and then we're going to go into factoring sums and difference of cubes. So the pattern when it comes to the difference of squares, we have to remember it by its name. The difference, so a minus, of two perfect squares of two perfect squares. Now, you could write it as this pattern if we have that memorized. So basically, we just need to know what a and b is. So in this case, my a is a. My b, right, if I took the square root of this, that's basically the hint, the square root, right? You get 2b. So I can write that as a plus 2b and a minus 2b. Now, this is not a perfect square, right? If I took the square root of 2, it's not going to work out. Sometimes we may have to factor first. And so if I factor out the 2, then I get 2x squared minus 8. Darn. It's still not a difference of squares. Because now 8 isn't a perfect square. So we can't factor that further. Now, the next one. I know it says x to the f or x to the fourth and y to the fourth, and you're probably thinking, well, is that a perfect square? Well, if you take the square root of it, right, if I took the square root of this, that actually gives you x squared. If you took the square root of this one, that gives you y squared. So it came out evenly, so they are perfect squares. And so I could write that as a plus b and a minus b. Now when you're done factoring, if you can see that there is also another way to factor further, you can. And you should notice that that is also a difference of squares. So I still have this x squared plus y squared. And then this right here, the square root of x squared is x, y. So I get x plus y and x minus y. Now, it doesn't matter which way you write it. You could say a minus b and then a plus b, right? Those can be changed because multiplication, it's commutative. So it doesn't matter which order we write it. Now to the new stuff, sum and difference of cubes. Now you're probably looking at this and you're like, what the heck? This is the pattern. We need to find a, you're probably wondering what this plus or minus and the difference between those two are. Well, what this is saying is if this is a plus, then this is a plus and then this is a minus. It's like the tops go together and then the bottoms go together. So if this is a minus, this is a minus and then that's a plus. But once you just know what your a and b is, so you take the cube root, cube root. So in this case, cube root is x, cube root is 1. So then it'll be, well, since that's a minus, you use the bottom one. So that's going to be x minus 1, x squared, and then plus, and then this is a, uh, a times b. So x times 1, which is just x. And then that's always plus, and then b squared. So 1 squared is just 1. And you're probably thinking, oh, that's really weird. It is. It's kind of a weird thing to memorize. But I can help you with that. So just wait. Here's the next one. Take the cube root. My a is x, and my b is 3. Once again, because it's minus, we're going to take the bottom one. So a minus b because this is our a and this is our b for the formula and then a squared plus a times b and then plus b squared and that's our answer now it's if you memorize it this way great if you will have trouble you know trouble memorizing it if you struggle with that i have a song and it's beautiful and it'll help us with it. And so this part here is the song. And you just have to set it up just a little bit. And the way you set, a, uh, set it up is you just take the cube root of that, x, the cube root of that value, 2. And then you can start singing the song. I'm trying to warm up here. <coughs> so first times first is first. 
last times last is last first times last is in the middle isn't this a blast the first signs from the problem the second it's reversed the last signs always positive no matter what the first and it's factored. It's done. And you heard my beautiful voice. Double positive. Here we go. Next one. So we set it up. All we have to do is just take the cube root. Cube root. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> me, 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 me. Okay, just warming up a little bit. So now we go ahead and sing the song. First times first is first. So x times x is x squared. Last times last is last, so 5 times 5 is 25. First times last is in the middle, isn't this a blast? The first signs from the problem. The second it's reversed. And the last sign's always positive no matter what the first. And it's factored. So what did we learn today? Well, we learned that we can factor if we have two perfect cubes, like x cubed and y cubed, and if there's a plus or minus in between. We call that the sums and difference of cubes. This does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.